and welcome back to my channel. I am doing a, a recipe. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep calling them Tasty Tuesdays or if I'm going to wait or if I'm going to post this sooner than later. I don't know. My channel is in flux. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it really. But anyway, I was bored when I was making my menus and I wanted to try some new recipes and I found this on Pinterest so I will link I will post the link in the description box below of this video so you can try it out for yourself. But this recipe I want to try, see it, what it is. It's a crock pot dish. I have not done crock pot for quite a while recently, so I thought it was high time I tried it. So I am making pepper jack chicken. It sounded good. So anyway, usually I will show you all the ingredients, but I'm being lazy today. I don't care. I got so much more stuff I got to do today. So I'm just going to... You know put the stuff in and you'll see what it is however so it calls for chicken it says actually two to what did it say something like I think it said three to four pounds of chicken it serves six people but we don't have that many so I'm probably gonna use the same amount of um, other stuff but I'm using less chicken so I just bought a package of chicken which is five chicken breasts so we're gonna do that and it, I know it's not three pounds <laughs> but it might be. I mean, it might be three pounds for the extra one, but anyway, this is what I'm doing. But if you put more, you know, chicken in, it will, you know, it will, um, it's supposed to feed six people. So there you go. Okay, I just rinsed my hands because chicken is gross. Once you put that in there, um, and the original recipe, you'll see it. If you click on the link, you'll see all about it. But, um, the original recipe was, uh, you could use like thighs or things like that, but I'm using chicken breasts. Okay, so now you put on the seasonings. So it just calls for salt and pepper. I'm basically going to just sprinkle this stuff on. I'm not really going to measure it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So you're going to salt, 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 salt. That's salt. And then pepper, pepper. You just put that over the chicken. My pepper is running out. I think that's good for now and then they say two teaspoons of cumin 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 you know that stuff this stuff right here <laughs> however you want to say it all right so I'm just gonna sprinkle it though sprinkle, sprinkle. sprinkle you know a good amount that would equal about two teaspoons I guess hopefully not more and there we go I think that's uh, dash I think that's a good amount and then they said one teaspoon each of this which is onion powder so once again I'm gonna just sprinkle it lightly Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. There we go. And then one teaspoon of garlic powder. Sprinkle. A little bit more. Cool. Yeah, garlic's good. Okay, and then you layer the vegetables, and this is the order I layer. They want you to get um they asked for a 10 ounce package of frozen green beans, but I used, I could only find a 12 ounce. So it's gonna be a little more green beans than normal, but I honestly don't think it matters. So I'm gonna cut this open and pour it in. Uh, there we go. So green beans go in like that. And then mushrooms go in second. And it's an eight ounce package of sliced mushrooms. These were not sliced, I did it myself, but this is about eight ounce package, so. In they go. I'm trying to break them up a little. And next, the last thing for the veggies is one green pepper seeded and sliced, and that's what I did right here, so. <laughs> there it goes. And that is almost it. Unfortunately, I forgot the last ingredient, so I will get it right now. It's not that big of a deal, though. It's just a cup of, I mean, nope, 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 it's a cup. It is, I'm trying to get it, and I don't have it yet. Where is it? There it is. It's definitely not a cup, <laughs> but it's butter, and I use this, I don't know. This is the type of thing I use here, the Smart Balance, but it's a fourth of a cup of butter, a fourth of a cup of butter, not a cup. And, uh, so I'm just gonna measure it out. They didn't say anything about melting it, but that makes sense, because I mean, hello, the crock pot's gonna do that. So I'm just gonna dump some in this measuring cup and then, I don't know, kinda 
I don't know, maybe piece it in there, you know, dollop it in there. I don't know. So I just gotta have a, I just have to have a fourth of a cup. I think I'm gonna round it, because <laughs> yeah, this is it's close enough. So I'm just gonna dollop it, just because, oh, wait a minute. Or I do that. Well, you know, I did look over the recipe, <laughs> but this is a few steps. Okay, after you put the vegetables in, you just put salt and pepper over it again. So just salt, 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 like that, and then pepper again. You don't add the other. You don't add the other seasonings. It's just top it off with salt and pepper. They said that's what they said. Bing, bing, bing. My poor pepper thing. I have another one, but I just want to make sure I get all of it. What is the kitty getting into? Kitty! Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. I don't know what you're doing in here. Okay. Slight interruption. I'm sorry about that. Our cat was doing something. I don't know. She's playing with, she's playing with some kind of paper, uh, plastic bag or something. There's, Making sure she's okay. Okay, now you take the fourth cup of butter, and I'm just gonna dollop it on because, yeah, like I said, they don't say to. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but she's having very fun. I put some parchment paper on the floor because I was looking for something, and I hadn't picked it up yet. So she's having fun destroying it. Thankfully, it's not important to me. I don't care, but <laughs> that's the sound in the background. Is her having fun tearing it apart so that's what that is so I'm just gonna dump this on the chicken on the top of this all right and that's all done that's it that's all you do and then where did I put my lid there it is and you just put this lid on and then you so the recipe says oh, I gotta move this or something you need to cook it on low. They didn't say high. Four, uh, they said, what did they say? Four to six hours on low. I'm probably gonna do it for six, cause yeah. So, I'm sitting this for six hours on low. And then, it is called pepper jack chicken. So we haven't done anything with the pepper jack cheese yet. <laughs> so this is cooking on low for four to six hours until it's shreddable, cause you shred the chicken. And then I will come back in just a little bit when it's all done for the next step. All right, so it's been about six hours since I put all this in the crock pot. And they said you just stir it and break up the chicken. So that's what I did. So it looks like this when you get it all shredded and mixed in. And it smells really good by the way. So the last step you do is you take the pepper jack cheese, you need 10 slices. And I apologize, my dishwasher's running, so that's why you hear the extra sound. Ooh. And all you do is lay your, just lay it on top, all that pepper jack cheese. So just 10 slices, I'm just gonna put it in there quickly. cover back on and you put it on high just until it, so you have to watch this because then you put it on high until the cheese melts and so that's what you're looking for is when the cheese melts it's ready to serve so I'll come back with the finished result all right so it's all melted I'm going to shut off my crock pot and you can see that that's what it looks like when it's all done nice and melty Alright, so I'm going to now, uh, I need to get something, I'm going to dish it out now. Okay, so I was going to serve it with a vegetable, but I realized it has three in there, so I didn't bother. <laughs> I'm just going to serve it over rice. So here it comes out. Ooh, look at that cheese. Melty, melty. Ooh. 
The cheese is awesome. And I did take a tiny little bite to just to try it out. It's really, really good. It has just a slight spice, but that's due to the pepper jack. And I think it's just the right amount, honestly. I don't, I'm, I don't like too much spice because of my tummy. It's not happy for my tummy, but it's just the right amount. And I'm sure if you want it more spicy, you could add something to it, but there it is. So that is it. That's the pepper jack chicken. And like I said, I will leave a, um, I'll leave the link in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching. And if you like things like this, I like to do recipes, try out new things. So I do recipe videos, grocery hauls, and crafts. I will be doing crafts. I keep saying that, but I will be doing it. Uh, and also I will be doing more stuff in my reborns. I just haven't done a lot with this channel but I'm planning to get back into it so if you like that kind of stuff that's what I focus on feel free to subscribe all right thank you so much for watching have a great day see you in the next video bye